Welcome back to Winders Mall Farms. Today I'm going to be reviewing this pretty sweet Agco Challenger tractor. Um, this is actually my brother's tractor um, and it came in the mail last week but he is up in school in Evansville, Indiana and he said I could go ahead and open it and give you a review video on it. So the box has got a little bit about Challenger right there. If you want to pause the video you can read that but um, other than that, it's a pretty cool box, but let's see what this thing looks like. So, this is a spec cast tractor, so very high detail, but it is a little bit fragile. you got to be careful with all the parts on it. So, um, let's see what model, I don't even know what model number this is, MT685E, so that's going to be on the top corner there, it's going to be hard to see, but MT685E. So this is the American flag version, I think there's a Canadian flag version, they also made some like camo ones, and maybe a pink one of these, but we got the American flag version, because... We like America. So, anyways, there's so much cool things trying to decide where to start. I guess I'll just start with um, the cab. So, the top here, this is your top. You got your GPS there. The top looks really nice. We got our flashers, and this is really cool. Um, they're actually like kind of see through amber flashers. So, um, this is another tractor. We have that Speccast makes, and it's like painted flashers on this one, but these are like amber. And if you haven't seen this, check out the last video. I did a review on this. But these are like amber and see through, so that's pretty cool. And if you turn it, um, there's two more of those on the front here. Um, you can see there's one, and there's one as well. So those are pretty cool. Um, those flashers look awesome. We also have some good flashers here on this side that stick out over these duels. And we have lights all the way around. Um, painted tail lights here. Nice lights on the front. Our headlights up here don't look super great. They're just kind of painted on, but, you know, not terrible. The grill is nice. We actually have a textured grill, not a decal. So that is pretty sweet. Um, we do have mirrors, and they're painted silver, so that looks really good. The interior's got a nice steering wheel, um, nice control arm with your monitor, no real paint detail in there, it's all just gray, but um, all the parts are there. You can see our foot pedals down there, that's pretty good detail. Nice floor, good seat with a buddy seat over here. Um... Our stairs look nice. Fuel tank looks good. Now we do have a little bit of a handrail here. There's a handrail there. So that looks nice. Another one over here, back behind that muffler. Another handrail. Um, nice slow moving vehicle decal here. We do get a quick hitch. I like that. Um, this new Holland does not have a quick hitch on the three point. So. Um, I feel like quick hitches are more realistic to see on a real tractor of this size. So, I like that. It does not move, though it is stationary, but it does look good. Um, the hitch that you get on the bottom here will hook up to your Ertl implements or your spec cast planters or grain carts. So, that is nice. Good looking hitch. And the back looks really nice too. Um, you can see the PTO right there and then just good detail. Um, also these tires are really cool looking so let me set it down. You can look at it from a little bit of distance here. Um, very nice detailed rims on the front and the back. And good, good rubber on them too. Good tread pattern. I like the duels. I really like duels on tractors. Um, 
flotation singles are cool, but I've always just been a fan of duels. And these are nice wide duels too. And then the front, look at the front. These are just some beastie tires on the front. So you got duels in the back, these on the front. As you can probably see, they do steer. And they actually steer very well. I'm kind of looking at it from the bottom here. These things steer really nice. So that is really good. We also have front weights that look very good. Very realistic front weights. Not your Ertl front weights. Some side those front weights look really good. And one thing which I've been waiting on to show y'all. Hood does open. And we have a very nice engine in here. You know, it's not a ton of detail on the engine, but hey. More than most tractors, toy tractors, we don't even get to see this under the hood. So that's pretty cool that the hood opens. So that is nice. And so I guess the last thing to talk about is what really makes this very cool tractor, in my opinion. That's the American flag decal. I mean, look at this thing. Very high detail paint job from Speccast. Get that flag on. Good Challenger logo there. And then the flag wraps around onto the fenders all the way to the back. And I think it looks cool from the hood too. I mean, that just looks really cool to me. Sweet American flag. Um, I don't know if they make them like this in real life, but if they do, I'd love to see a picture of one or love to see one because that is a sweet looking tractor. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this review, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Have a great night.